guys, Spartan 117GW, and welcome to another episode of the Armory. Now, in my hands, I have the PTS Arm for ERG Scout. As you can tell, it has a longer barrel. Um, one of the things that makes this particular gun very special is that it has the CMR, which is yet to be released, on this gun. It's a Centurion Arm CMR, which is uh, basically a tubular rail system. Really nice, very low profile, and probably one of my favorite in terms of aesthetic appeal. Um, as you can see, it has this very unique golf ball texture to uh, rail panels, essentially. Uh, just the way they're cut really gives the gun a very unique you know, appearance, and it gives it kind of a more personalized aesthetic amongst the sea of guns that are out there. As you can see, the rail panels are also bolted on. Um, you know, key mod's great, but you know, I love the fact that I can just really, really quickly switch these things out, bolt them on, and really not have to worry about them. Um, and what's great is that there's a bunch of different accessories, whether you have a light mount or you can, um, you can use a hand stop, which is right here. Um, bolts directly on there, it ain't going anywhere. And if you don't like the length of these, or if you need to adjust the length of these panels, you can cut them. As you can see, um, this one here and this one here, they're two separate ones, but they actually used to be one panel. Uh, on the back, all the rail panels are kind of in a way almost, almost pre-cut there's like marks that kind of give you an idea of where to cut um, so you can definitely customize them. once you cut them just sand them down a little bit and you kind of refine the edges and you'll be good to go and you'll have all the adjustability that you need also you have the polymer um, picatinny mounts here as well you can get them in different lengths like again they bolt straight on and what's really great is that these are all the real these are the real accessories on the PTS rail itself uh, so it's really great to have this all dressed up now um, you may have recognized this gun because I had it in the um, tactical gearheads with the airsoft GI since then I've kind of switched it up a little bit now, every now and then I kind of like to redress up the gun a little bit just to give it a more unique taste and we all like different flavors from time to time um, right now I have two uh, desert or uh, um, flat dark earth uh, M bus sights on front and rear I'll have my airsoft extreme uh, red dot here what's really great is you can put a kill flash on it um, there's actually a newer one now that has the lever back in place because it's kind of designed or based off the amp style uh, this one have as you can see has the screw here personally I prefer the lever because it's a little more secure but this one is pretty good it ain't going anywhere I also have my flat dark earth um, Haley strategic WML by Enforce. Really solid light, 200 lumens for CQB or just kind of working in certain spaces. This is pretty much the way to go. Um, if it's a huge field, I might go to 500 lumen um, for like game pot or something because it's huge and you can that little extra throw doesn't hurt, but realistically for a CQB, it's a little bit too bright. Um, and I have the unreleased Griffin Arm and Suppressor, which is great because this one's also in flat dark earth. Um, before I only had it in black. And now that we have the Flat Dark Earth version to test out, um, it's awesome. I really like how it complements the whole look of the gun. And on the back, I have an ACS stock. Um, what's really great though is I'm also running the EPMs. These things are awesome. They were supposed to come out a little while ago, but uh, the first shipment got held by customs. So the next shipment is going to be sent straight to LA. So I'm definitely going to be getting those in really, really soon. As you can see, mine is front wired. Usually I have a pec box on here, um, but just kind of for the clean look of the video, I just kind of went without. But as you can see, very clean rifle, shoots about 380 FPS out of the box. Um, the gun also costs about 380 bucks. For what you're getting with the superb recoil system and just the, the reliability, I mean, this thing's a workhorse. Um, 380 bucks is really good, especially considering you're getting all the Magpul furniture and the more billeted uh, Magpul receiver, which is actually very, very nicely cut. Um, my opinion, it's probably one of my favorite guns in my arsenal. Just kind of making that transition from like either gas or regular AG to the ERG was a really happy medium because I love gas guns. Sometimes they can be a little bit filled with drama, you know, sometimes it's valves, this, that, and if something doesn't want to work. With AEGs, you lose a little bit of the authenticity. Very nice, happy medium right here. Uh, so if you guys want to check out the Scout, there's a link below. Um, and as you can see, this is my current build. A lot of these accessories that are unreleased will be released very soon. So keep an eye on PTS. All that good stuff will be out and momentarily. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW, and I will see you guys next time.
Spartan 117 GW. Make sure you guys check it out. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.